Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I am your host, Phil Rowley. Today we're coming to you from beautiful Labrador. We are going to be fishing for the elusive Atlantic salmon on the Forto and Pinware rivers. We're going to be showing you dry fly techniques, how to riffle hitch wets. It's going to be a great show, so stick around. <laughs> On today's show, we visit the scenic southeast coast of Labrador near the Quebec border. Our journey begins on the Forto River just upstream from where it flows into the Labrador Straits. We are guests of the Labrador Salmon Lodge. After a few days, we'll be heading further up the Labrador coast to chase Atlantic salmon once again on the rugged Pinware River guests of the Lucky Strike Lodge. Both lodges offer comfortable, cozy accommodation and wonderful cuisine. A welcome respite at the end of a long day. The Labrador Coast also offers unique attractions including museums, historic sites and whale watching. During the summer months, humpback and minke whales, along with Atlantic bottlenose dolphins, work the coastal waters. Spending time on the water with these magnificent creatures is a breathtaking and humbling experience. Joining me on the Forto is veteran guide Cecil Butt. His experience and knowledge proved invaluable. Cecil and I are working the Forto below the spectacular Forto Falls. It is late summer and the river is running low and clear, ideal conditions for taking Atlantic salmon on riffle hitch wets and dead drifted dry flies. Due to the visual excitement, Cecil suggested we start with a dry fly. Ooh. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Oh, a little par. And that's why, you know, you're going to get these uh, little guys, little immature Atlantics like this. Just wet my hands, protect the fish. But that's why, one of the reasons it's believed that uh, Atlantic salmon, whoa, <laughs> that they take the fly so well is uh, when they're young, they're so aggressive eating caddis and mayflies and whoops, <laughs> and the like, very energetic as you can see. But again, that's one of the beliefs why the Atlantic salmon, when they return, will take dry fly presentations, um, remembering their youth. So we've had uh, some other signs of salmon, so we're gonna see if we can get something a little larger. We've got a few salmon moving here. It's been kind of quiet and all of a sudden in the last 10 minutes or so we've had three or four salmon roll or splash. What Cecil's advised me to do is we always fish the water closest to us first and then gradually work our way out. So that's what we're going to do. Short cast and slowly extend until we can cover the water that we can comfortably cover. So hopefully we can roll the salmon. If you got this time, don't hold on, right. you got him this time, buddy. I got him. Way to go. <laughs> Pretty good going. Cool yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. Just a subtle rise. And we've been working this fish, worked them with a wet. We've had fish moving. And uh, then Cecil said, you know, we're going to work the brown bug over him. And he's rolled on it once, but he didn't get hit. And uh, he came up again and poked his nose through. And I don't think he's quite woken up yet. Now he's waking up. Oh yeah, he's a beautiful fish. You got your glove there? Okay. Now we're going to tail these fish to take care of them. and Let them go up the river to spawn. Yeah, let them go. That's right. Too beautiful a fish. Too beautiful a fish. The, the journey these fish have to endure in the open, and it's not only risky as a par in life, but on the open ocean with the the seals, the commercial fishing, killer whales. What a tough life. It's amazing that they get back. And a fish to survive all of that is the top of his gene pool and needs to be preserved. So 
we can come back and do this again and again and again and our kids can do it that's right and their kids just a magnificent fish that was a beautiful take wasn't it yeah just a little nose poke if, if you're not sure you can uh, you can see it right in the right in the side I'm just trying to where I can get the main butt of the rod here into the fight so we can defeat the fish and this is a Beautiful Atlantic. Here it comes, Cecil. Where do you want it? Oh, oh that it wasn't up very good. I could see well, the skin him off. Oh well, pulled a bit and he popped out, but a uh, lot of fun. A lot of fun. We'll go back again. There's a couple more in there. Big one, big one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. You got that big one out. Yeah. Where you go there? Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God! Look Fit at the size of this. Fit to the fish. Uh. Oh, what a big one. Okay. Oh, oh. did you get him? <laughs> oh. And Cecil's just been coaching me, been seeing fish rolling, and just working the fly. And, and for a fish of this size, how delicate the take is. The first, I missed a couple because I thought they were par, small, immature Atlantics, and this thing is a monster. Oh boy! Boy, that's a big, big, that's a that's big, a big fish. Atlantic salmon. That is a nice fish. Look at him right in the snout. I can see the, the white wings of the fly. He's not ready yet. Oh, oh baby, baby! I may be done. Cecil may have to revive me. <laughs> Get this surgeon glove on. Huh? Yeah. I'm just taking my time with him, letting him get tired. He's still capable of taking line. He's strong fish. You can feel the power in this fish. Here he comes into the shallows here. Cecil, he's right. There he is. Look at that. He's starting to show his sides, which usually means that, oh, no, he doesn't like that very much. Get her into this slack water. Oh, he's, and then a, big, Cecil, Cecil, oh, he's a big salmon. Big, beautiful fish. Take them easy. Here, I'll, let me just get around the motor here, Cecil. Okay. And then we can, I'll back up behind you. Oh. And then I can pull her in. You know, something leaders around on that. Oh, no. She's gone. That's okay. That's okay. We we're going to let her go anyway. Fly just okay. pulled out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, still there. Fly. fly just pulled out, but. <laughs> Good job. Mark. Magnificent. We were going to let her go anyway, but that was a gorgeous uh, Atlantic salmon. Beautiful fish. My forearm's killing me. Fly fishing for Atlantic salmon in Newfoundland and Labrador, it's a pretty simple assortment. Collection of dries and wet should do you just fine. We've got a white wolf here. Smaller bug style fly. These worked uh, well uh, on the Forto River. The bomber is an excellent fly in a wide range of colors. Um, orange, green, natural. You can even have natural bodies uh, palmered with different colored hackle. All work well. The white wings really stand out well. A black silver tip is a wet fly, and a blue charm, which is a standby. So these are the standard flies you'd want to consider with your fly box. And remember in Newfoundland Labrador, barbless flies and unweighted flies. A dead drifted dry fly is perhaps the most exciting way to take Atlantic salmon on the fly. The high floating bomber is widespread and a well-known favorite across both Newfoundland and Labrador. Here is the pattern recipe. For a hook, use a Mustad R74 in sizes 4 through 10. The tail is white calf tail. The hackle is dry fly quality neck or saddle hackle. The body is deer hair, spun and clipped. The wing is white calf tail. Don't be afraid to vary both the body and hackle color and be sure to pack the body for maximum flotation. What's important is making sure that your fly is always floating nice and high when we're using dries like this bomber. 
So uh, reapplications of floatant or dry fly powder to dry out the fly is, is, is necessary with these deer hair bodies as well. You can squeeze some of the moisture out while at the same time forcing the floatant in. And it's okay to put a little bit on your leader as well. So we have a nice high floating presentation. Many Labrador rivers are full of rocks and boulders, conditions that can make for treacherous wading if you are not careful. Wade slowly and deliberately. Be sure of your footing. Consider bringing a wading staff so you can safely navigate your way through and around rocky stretches. I'll talk to you a little bit about the equipment we're using today. We've got an eight weight, nine foot, three inch rod, eights and nine weights of what uh, Cecil and the gang here have recommended. Um, good quality reel. Uh, large arbor for rapid line pickup, a good drag system. These Atlantic salmon can really test your tackle. And a steelhead uh, salmon taper fly line. These fly lines are long. Uh, they have a long belly section, allows you for long distance mending, yet still have a nice tip taper. Allows you to turn over and present dry flies and small wets elegantly and not spook fish. And then a nine foot uh, tapered leader uh, with about uh, two feet of uh, 2x tippet on the end. And that's the essential tools we're using to catch Atlantic salmon. After spending a few days on the Forto River, we moved up to the rugged Pinware River. Joining me on the Pinware is seasoned guide Dennis Normore. His intimate knowledge of the river and its returning salmon will be critical to my success. Although the geography has changed, our approach will still be the same as I continue to hone my skills using riffle hitch wet flies and dead drifted dry flies. The riffle hitch is one of the two primary presentation techniques for Atlantic salmon here in Newfoundland and Labrador. It traces its roots back to Portland Creek on Newfoundland, where English anglers would leave their flies for the locals. The flies were good, but the cat gut eyes soon deteriorated, so the local anglers started using a series of half hitches placed at the head of the fly. This caused the fly to plane upwards and created a very attractive wake, and the riffle hitch was born. It's a method they still use today with deadly effect. The key to successfully riffle hitching a wet fly is a combination of good casting and line manipulation once the fly is on the water. To begin, make a straight cast on a 45 degree angle downstream across the current. Make sure your leader rolls out and lays straight. Raise your rod slightly, holding it back causing the fly to swing under tension. Use a slow hand twist during the swing to ensure the fly wakes across the current. Begin with short casts and extend line with each successive cast. Cast only enough line for what you can comfortably cover. Well, I've been working this run under Dennis's guidance. Uh, riffle hitch in a wet, uh, number six blue charm, a staple pattern out here in Labrador. And just, a, again, the 45 degree cast that, that uh, Dennis recommended and tight to the fly right away and hold it back with the rod tip and uh, it's hard to see the fly riffle hitching but this fly, this sorry this fish just belted it it's jumped once it's a good looking fish but this river is a challenge as you can see with the amount of current and and rocks we have and I'm trying to to hold my ground as best I can because you can see the surroundings around me this is tough sledding if you have to go running downstream it's not a nice smooth gravel bar Man, these things fight. Beautiful fish like this. The life they lead is just a incredible fish. Now he's going. I'm trying to put the brakes on him, get the... I don't want to do a straight pull, risk pulling this fly right out of his mouth, but I want to... I'm trying to stand my ground and obviously bring him up through this rough water. I just can't get down below because of the amount of big rocks and 
steep ledges. I'm on a shallow bank here. And I'm just trying to use side pressure to de defeat the fish. And basically, if he goes left, he gets right side pressure. If he goes right, he gets left side pressure. I'm just trying to keep him off balance and tire him out. He's thought I had him in close once, and then he sort of gained some strength. And I also want to keep him from wrapping me around things. So we're hoping we're just working him up here. I'm now in a shallow, calm area. I'm coaxing him in, gathering line when I can, using correct rod pressure, not trying to horse him. And we'll get him in into this calm water and then we can hopefully touch him, admire him. Nope, not at all. <laughs> we just tried to land him once. Like most fish, they don't like their tails touched and he just took off. The amount of energy in this fish, unbelievable. You've if you haven't tried Atlantic salmon on the fly, put it on your bucket list because it's it's as uh, pretty exciting stuff as hopefully you can tell. My heart's racing. I got the heartbeat of a hamster right now. It's going so fast. I'm so excited. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Whoop. There he comes in again. We might. Oh, he's. Oh no. We'll go get another one, Dennis. Let's go, that's, that's exciting stuff. Our last morning on the pinware started like the previous morning, drifting dry flies over likely looking areas. We had worked hard. Our guides had put us on some great water. We had hooked fish, but had not had the chance to admire an Atlantic salmon close at hand. We were hoping our fortunes would change. Today, someone was smiling on us. Oh, oh, you got him. You I got him. him. Fish on. Fish Way on. Way to go. Yoo-hoo. I'm just pinching them off. What I did is backed off the drag was too tight, and I just gave it a hard spin and took it completely the other way, so. Yeah. Oh, now he's going. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, the it's a salmon. A beautiful oh, oh, fish. Salmon. Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. We'll palm them. You, you better palm them. Yep. Yep. We'll palm them. Oh, yep. Now there goes the backing. Put some pressure on them. You better. Yep. Start reeling them. Hard to gather line with backing. You got a good fish. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can close the deal. Ah. <clears throat> Excellent. Got to keep him on this side of these rocks if he goes to go down. We're going to play him down the black hole. And more than likely, that's where we're going to end up. Go down. Yeah, he's going down. That's it. Okay, let him go. Let him there go. Okay, we got to go now. Get oh. high. Get high. That's it. You're good, I think. <laughs> what a fish. <laughs> This is the, we're in the second pool now. It's gone through the chutes down below me to my left. Okay, reel. It's been into my backing. We're trying to hold our ground. You've got to swing them to the right, to the right. Yeah. And let the current beat him up a little bit and tire him out. But I still haven't got my fly line back yet. Say again. I'm just trying to reel and winch. That's what Dennis, but he's way out in the current. We have a lot of line out. So we've got that drag working against us. Yeah, he's going across the river. He's trying to go across the river, and I'm trying to say Okay, he's going. that's it. You gotta winch him. Like fighting a marlin. <laughs> that's it. Reel, reel. Go down and, and then winch. Pump. Yeah, that's it. You got him coming. And Keep him coming. When you get him coming. Down to him, stay tight, and pump. In many ways, the presentation resembles what you do for trout, and but as soon as the take. It all changes <laughs> into one very, very active, magnificent fish. So we're just going to continue to, whoa, and try my best to hold this thing. Holy smokes. Oh, no. Get out of there. Tuck 
talk to me? Get out of there. We're just trying to steer him out of the rocks. We've been battling this fish through two pools across the river into the backing three times. It's a magnificent salmon, beautiful fish. Oh, fly rod's gonna be like rubber when it's done. Oh, this is a magnificent salmon. Be careful of that leader. Please be careful of that leader. Oh boy, you got a big fish. Oh, yes, sir. He's a big fish, look. <laughs> Magnificent. Look at the bars. They've got a beautiful pearlescent blue running just above their lateral line. Silver bright. He's resting quietly. He gave a magnificent fight. Two times into the backing, two separate pools, across the river twice. For a while there, I wasn't sure I was going to make it. But just magnificent. And this is what awaits you for coming Atlantic salmon fishing, whether you're riffle hitching flies or taking them on the dry fly, dead drift, just like your trout fishing, but obviously considerably more than your average trout. Magnificent. I hope you enjoyed the show. Learn more about fly fishing for Atlantic salmon. For more information on this episode and others in our series, please visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. Come to Newfoundland Labrador. Experience this for yourself. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe and you can get all our weekly uploads.